Hi everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Season 3 of Scream. So I'm going to do a little recap because I already did a video review of the Scream series. You know, the first four movies and then the two seasons on MTV. So I'm going to do a little recap review about that and then move on with the season three review <clears throat> some scream is my favorite horror franchise i'm a huge horror uh genre lover and um the scream series is my favorite um for a number of reasons um it's not that it's like scary and gives you nightmares and stuff. It's more scary as in, um, it's more realistic than any of the other horror movies. Um, the killer or killers are extremely human and when they die, they actually die. Um, they're part of the characters' lives, um, and they're pieces to the each movie is a piece to the bigger puzzle or the bigger picture. <clears throat> and um, I really love the fact that the Scream series is pretty much one of the only horror um, series that uh, is continuously progressive and is not just a rehash of the same thing. Um, <clears throat> for instance, and spoiler alert if you haven't seen any of the movies, but... I'll take the movies for example. Sydney was in high school. In the second one, she was in college. The third one, she was in a witness protection kind of program, but she was also um, a therapeutic um, counselor for uh, people that lived through trauma. In the fourth one, she was an author because she wanted to tell her uh, story and everything. So it's a progressive story. Um, and, um, it, it has the same, you know, the ones that survive, like, continue doing the series, so it's not an entirely different group of people. they are people that you connect to, that you care about, that you don't want to die, um, but you still want to see how the story ends, which I think was intelligent. Um... <clears throat> so, that being said, uh, Scream is very intelligently written. Um, it is done with such quality, and the actors and actresses are so amazing. And um, I really love the whodunit kind of uh, centerpiece to it all, to where you have to guess and everything, and... Um, the revelation is really shocking because such and such, this is why this is happening, and, um, you know, it's connecting the dots, basically. So, the first four movies were absolutely amazing, and Scream didn't just come out with a movie where it was terrible, like every other movie franchise, not even just horror, but, and it's very extremely rare for horror i mean horror is having a renaissance right now and they have been doing very great on making quality movies but up until this point scream is really the only one that was really that did it with quality every single time and um even when one wasn't as good as another it was still made with quality and it's still you know you, it's still entertaining, it still is a thriller ride, um, and even the weakest movie was still brilliantly made, so, there's that. Um, now, Kevin Williamson is an amazing writer, um, obviously, the late Wes Craven was, he's a horror legend, and, um, yeah, it was his last series that he worked on, so. But, so after they were done making the movies, 
with Sydney Gale, Dewey, and um, MTV uh, made two seasons out of the Scream series as a show completely separate from the movies. Um, so we're going to go with the cons because there's, with the movies, very minimal cons. It's pr pretty much all pros because the movie series was done so brilliantly. Um, <clears throat> so with the first season, the first season was okay. It was enough to keep you coming back for more. Um, but it wasn't, oh my god, it wasn't as exciting as the actual movie franchise was. And it was a huge step down because Roger Jackson didn't come back for, uh, the stalker Ghostface voice. Um, and he's so menacing, but he's so brilliant at, at his voice performance. And the guy that they replaced him with for the first two seasons was, I mean, he got better in the second season, but no, it, it just is not the same. It's not the original. Um, and I believe that they didn't have the rights to the Ghostface mask for the first two seasons when MTV did it. So, <clears throat> um, that was a big damper. I mean, it was cool because they had to be more original and had to do their own mask or whatever, but it's, again, it's not the same. It's not the iconic ghost face mask that was worn in the fr movie franchise. <clears throat> and it was, but the second season was dramatically better than the first season. It was several times better than the first season. Way more enjoyable, way more scary, actually. Um, and, yeah, the second one, the second season two on MTV of Scream was really great. Or, not really great, but it was really good. Um, and it was so much better than their first season. So, now, here we are. Um, in 2019, July 2019, and they had just released the third season of Scream. So what they did is now the third season is its own entity. It has nothing to do with the movies, other... Okay. Story-wise, it has nothing to do with the previous movies. Um... And it has nothing to do at all with the first two seasons that MTV had done. Um, so, I believe that a different showrunner is on for the third season as well. But now, it's an anthology series. So now it has a beginning, middle, and end. And they air the season over three nights. Um, because there's only like six episodes or something like that. And... <clears throat> um... Queen Latifah was one of the producers. Uh, they got uh, Tyler Posey on board with it, and he's a really great actor. He was the lead actor in the Teen Wolf franchise uh, for MTV, and that was one of the best shows ever made. Um, so, when I had heard that Tyler Posey was on board, um... I absolutely love Queen Latifah, so that's awesome that she had a hand in it. Um, Roger Jackson, the original Ghostface uh, voice, was back. They hired him back, and they got the rights back, or they made an agreement with the uh, costume company where they have the right to use the mask, and they did use the original mask in the third season. And it was switched over from MTV to VH1. So, the third season was more along the lines of the movie franchise than it was the first two seasons on MTV. Season three 
the first of the anthology series, and hopefully it's not the last, because they made it with such quality. It felt like I was watching movies, continuous movie cycles, instead of a TV show. Um, you can tell that they put a lot of time and a lot of energy into the third season. Um, the char the characters you connected so much more with than the first two seasons that they aired on MTV. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to call it the VH1 Scream. Uh, that way it separates itself from the MTV ones, the first two seasons. So, <clears throat> um, the, the VH1 Scream, the third season, it's, it made all the difference in the world to have Roger Jackson back as the voice and the uh, iconic uh, ghost face mask. And the way that it was filmed was so much more like the movies with, like, the, the, just everything about it, actually. Uh, the acting was really good, um, for the most part, and it was so much more shocking than MTV Scream, and, <clears throat> um, it was, it was brilliantly made, uh, so it went from good and MTV's first season to really good uh, for their second season. And now it's an excellent show now on MTV or on BH1, sorry. <clears throat> and it really sucks because I really wanted to see. I'm one of those people that like to have closure. And, uh, the second season on MTV did not have her, and we're not getting any closure because this third season has nothing at all to do with the first two seasons. And, like I said, it has a beginning, middle, and end. So, with that being said, um, I am so excited about, uh, another season if they make one if they announce one. I hope that they do because they finally have it right. And um, I think that it's absolutely cool to do it over three nights and do like a special thing with it because Scream really is a special horror franchise. And it's um, it's now leaving a great legacy. Um, I uh, would be kind of bummed, but happy at the same time if the third season was the last season because at least they ended on a high note and they did it, they did the franchise justice um i do highly recommend it um because it is not on dvd or and i couldn't find it on hulu or anything like that i actually um bought it through my youtube account i bought the season through my youtube account on hd quality so um, I do highly recommend it. Um, it is worth the 15 bucks that I paid. Um, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And hopefully they release it on Blu-ray so I can add it to my collection. And pretty much that's all with um, my review on this. Um, it'd be really awesome if they made another one. So make sure you check it out if you haven't. Uh, get Make sure you give my video a big thumbs up and leave a comment, especially if you have seen um, the show or you want to talk about the movies or whatever. Um, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, have a great day, guys.